Ahead of the 2023 general elections, Northwest Presidential Council Committee of All Progressive Congress of Artisans and Technicians has vowed to deliver 5.3 million votes for Tinubu Shatima candidacy. The committee says artisans and technicians constitute a large number of people who need support to boost the economy of the country. Habula Derefai's report is presented from our studios. With over 40 days to the polls, supporters and political parties intensify efforts to convince the electorate to vote candidate who will champion the affairs of the nation. The former Speaker of Zamfara State House of Assembly, who is the Director of Artisans and Technicians Northwest, Sanusi Rikji, says for the first time in the nation's history, Tinubu Shatima Operations 3030 has singled out and recognized artisans and technicians. Rikiji says artisans will have the opportunity to grow their businesses and create jobs for Nigerians. Come up with a formula, a working formula that we believe is achievable. We have come up with an initiative of 3030 projects across the country, implemented across the nooks and crannies of this country, across the length and breadth of this country, across the 774 local governments of this country the 5.3 million board for Ashwaju is, is achieved. A number of associations under the artisans and technicians umbrella of this country have about 7.5 million registered members across the country, across all the trade unions and associations that are fully registered with corporate APS commission. And um, we targeted at, inshallah, by the special grace of God, our committee delivered His Excellency Ashwa Dibola Ahmed about 5.3 million votes. Sanusi maintains that all the necessary strategies and mechanisms have been put in place to ensure artisans and technicians move the country forward, while charging the electorate to vote Tinubu, who he said has shown a track record of success since he was the governor of Lagos State. Ashwaju is a leader. He's a nationalist. He has built bridges across Niger. He has built allies across all ethnic groups in this country, be it Hausa, be it Black, be it Igbo. Ishwaju has reached out to virtually able knocks and crannies in this country before now. And Nigeria has witnessed it. He has been tested. Look at what happens in Lagos years back. Look at the roadmap he designed for Lagos, which all inherited governments work on. And this is where we are. Today, Lagos is a country of its own. It's a country of its own. If you are talking about economy, out of every good 10 naira of this country, seven, eight naira is in Lagos. Seven, eight naira of the economy is in Lagos. We must have done that. And I have the belief, he had the intention to develop this sector, the artisans. They are the movers of the microeconomy of this country. They are the movers of the microeconomy of this country. And artisans and technicians, Baba Ashwaji notice, is the starting point to build, especially the northern part of this country because we have been left behind by far, economically. They insist that Nigerians must avoid money politics and go for credible and competent leaders for good governance. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.